Tonight is August 25th, 2019, <clears throat> and um, I have uh, made a couple of two or three videos on this amplifier. It's an 833 amplifier. I use it only on 20 meters. The, the workbench is a disaster, and I don't care right now. Uh, I think I've won. I think I won the war with it. It's actually quite beautiful and impressive with that big plate glowing orange in there. Runs 4,000 volts on the plate. I only use it on 20 meters. Come on, it's your plate and screen. I got uh, <clears throat> vacuum capacitors in it. I did it right. I uh, used a, the BMW tank coil for it. I ended up taking off the the 10 meter portion that goes right here. It's a coil that goes right here. I may put it back. Anyway, what I'm thinking about doing is this is a um, uh, a load of medium mu triode. It, you just got to. It's just absolutely horrific the amount of power it takes to drive this guy to get 750 watts out of it at the at the very most. Well, no, if you run it all the way up to 5,000 volts, you can actually get a kilowatt out of it. But I'm just thinking, you know, I think it'd be fun. I think it's time to convert it. And. Uh, what do you think? I'm going to show you this, post it, and uh, this is got loose, yeah. Okay, here, here's what I'm thinking about doing right here. Pulling this guy out, pulling this big old 833 out. It's a beauty. I love it. And instead of that, let's put this guy in it. 31000Z. I've got another 31000 Z amplifier, but let's build another one. Obviously, it doesn't fit that socket. Up. I've got the correct socket right here. But what do you think? You know, make it a grounded grid. The uh, the, the uh, gain of these triodes is 200. The gain of that 833 is something like I don't know. I can't remember. I think it's something like 30. And. Um, I'll get well over twice the power out of this guy right here. May end up putting the 10-meter uh, tank coil back in here. I've also learned how to do some silver plating that's actually turned out very nice. I might show that on the uh, on another video, uh, part of this. How to silver plate these guys right here. I'll probably do that. But I think that could... Uh, I think that's the next step up. What do you guys think? Let me turn it around here. I don't want to... Anyway, look like this. It's finished. You know, the, the tank circuit's all good. Uh, the uh, grid meter, I think, is I think 100 milliamps of max is, is correct. I'll have to change this one. This one goes to 500 milliamps. I'll have to change this to one amp because I think the 31000 Z wants about six or 700 milliamps, so it'd be paying the meter. But that's okay. Tuning, loading, all that kind of baloney. Anyway, that's what it would look like. I can't show you show it to you lit up right now, but uh, that's coming pretty soon. I think I'm going to do that. I'm open to suggestions and uh, and thoughts about it. And of course, this guy right here, go back on top of there. I don't want to jerk it around too too much. And then you know, the, all this kind of stuff right here will have to be removed. All this neutralizing capacitors and stuff over here will have to be removed. Uh, underneath it. Let me see what's underneath. Let me put this guy back. Drop him. I would, I would end that project. Underneath. It's actually fairly simple. Uh, some of the things that will come out of it. This load resistor will come out. This tank circuit, all this will come out. Uh, this will stay. This will come out. Here's filament. Uh, I'll have to have a, a plate choke. Uh, I mean, a, a cathode, a filament choke. I say it right. I mean, a filament choke. It's already got the, the, the TR relay in it. And uh, there you go. I'll end up actually in the uh, in the amplifier, uh, disconnecting, removing, or whatever the bias supply. So I don't need a bias supply. But I'm uh, thinking about diving into it. But. Uh, I like to build. I like to build amplifiers uh, and uh, put them in, in cabinets with the 
you know, so with a same power supply so I can just slide chassis in and out and do all the experimenting I want. I've got uh, I've got three cabinets that I do that with. I need another amp floor like I need another hole in the head. But I just can't quit. I've picked up some uh, really beautiful uh, Collins equipment lately, a KWM2A and the power supply. It's all made by Rockwell Collins around 1978. Just, just absolutely beautiful stuff. I love it. And a 51S1 receiver and all that kind of stuff. I really enjoy that. I know I haven't been too, doing too much audio lately. I haven't forgotten. I do still have some some projects that are really heavy on my mind, like with some uh, 572-10s, uh, you know, some 300Bs. I've got to, I've still got a project for a quad of 300Bs that is uh, waiting for me to get serious with again. I just, uh, well, sometimes it's hard to get up the energy. But anyway, if you got any thoughts on this, I'll go ahead and post this little short one tonight. Uh, and give me your thoughts on it, and we'll end up with another big, uh, big amplifier. If you if you like that kind of stuff, I'm thinking I might do some, you know, shorten some of this stuff up right here. Maybe move this over here. You know, do do some tidy up, uh, improvement type of stuff to it, and uh, see how it turns out. Stay safe. Thanks for watching.